do without just another young for even a little while. <laughs> I don't know what to do. The best ending ever. Should I just hang up? Now sit here. That's fine. No, that's that's <laughs> what our gimmick. What do we do? Should I just hang up? Just hang we, up. We're, we're all still here. Pay the service to it being the end of the show, and then we go around talking forever. Okay. <laughs> I really am going to go have sushi, though. So thanks, everybody, for playing. I love this game. It's so stressful. I'm, like, really worked up right now, but fun as always. I was so shocked that you got the Dark Knight. Oh, I bet you were. (laughs) 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 No, I'm excited. I'm I'm very happy with with my choices, but um, all right. I'll see you guys. Bye. Bye. I'll hang out for a little bit. I have nothing else to do. Cool. You want to know what? I was what? so wrapped up in this game. I totally spaced on doing the ad. <laughs> oh, oh no. we should have done an ad at some point. So we'll have to oh, cut balls. this in in the middle of the of the thing. All right, here. Uh, uh, let's just let's do that right now. Like, yeah, Brian. What? What? I was gonna talk. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you. Uh, no, go, you, you go for it. Go for it. I thought you were gonna talk. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. That's no, fine. You want to know what I think would solve this problem? Squarespace.com. See, you want to talk? I want to talk. If only we had a Squarespace site, we could meet in the middle. You want to know why? Because it's always going to be there for us, Brian. You know, it's always up. Distributed hosting. Make sure that that thing stays up, unlike Brian's crazy Scott face. (laughs) In fact, you can go ahead and create Brian's crazy Scott face. That's Squarespace.com for free right now. (laughs) Because that's what Squarespace does, right? That, uh, yeah, dude. What From what I hear, I've never used the site myself, but from what I understand, they have distributed hosting, so your site can't be brought down when it becomes suddenly popular, like twofacebryanscott.squarespace.com. It, uh, it's easy to use. They have killer-looking templates. You can even update while you're at the bar or on the street using their amazing app on your iPad or your iPhone or any other mobile device. Absolutely. And now you get 30% off your new account for three months if you use NSFW3 at checkout. Oh, dude, I could use 30% off of things that I like to buy in products and services. And you want to know what? Squarespace even offers you free live classes to help you get the most out of your Squarespace site or blog. You can check out class schedules because you normally, Brian, something's going down at Squarespace class. Really? And you can find out what it is at workshops.squarespace.com. I like that. That's good. Dude, our friends at Squarespace, we thank them for over 100 episodes of support, and we will hope you guys make a billion dollars off of these ads. Thank you so much, guys. Again, NSFW3, when you check out, do it. I love you. See, it's flashing, so that means they have to do it. <laughs> it's a law. This is why banner ads work very well. Exactly. Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to call it the 2012 Summer Movie Draft. Uh, yes. Brian, can I personally apologize for being no. really yelly this episode? No, you can't. I mean, you could say the words, but they just fall off of me, unfortunately. <laughs> you could apologize to this guy. I'm sorry, crazy Scott face. <laughs> you know what screw yourself, face. Justin you know what? Young. Let me Let me tell you something about that face. I know what that voice would be. You want to hear it? Here's yes. what the sound of that creature would be. All right, go. Wait, I'm sorry. Do, do, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Hold on, Dad. You're making me laugh. No, no, no. All, all right. right. All right. Ready? Okay. Are we ready? Ready, ready. set, go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Oh, that picture's terrible. <laughs> 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 oh, oh my god uh good. yes so that's good uh okay so we're gonna all right <clears throat> this is episode what 118 is that right oh crap is it no yeah 119 people saying 119 hey you guys <laughs> Switch and shout. Hey, all right. you guys. all right here we go <clears throat> this is nsfw episode 119 recorded on march 20th 2012 the NSFW 2012 Summer Movie Draft. Take it away, Justin. Hey. Hi, everybody. In this episode, we're joined by Sarah Lane, Veronica Belmont, Scott Johnson, Tom Merritt, and Brian Brushwood, as always. We do the 2012 Summer 
movie fantasy league draft. I'm a little nervous, so please apologize how rough this intro is. We draft movies and then we watch all summer as they make us money. Who wins? Who loses? Who's the favorite? Who's the goat? You have to wait to find out on NSFW show. I may have peed myself. Where's the wink? I'm nervous. <laughs> I'll let, I'll That's how say, I sell that. I'll, I'll let to be like, I may have peed myself. <laughs> you want me to do it with a wig? <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> uh, dude, Scott, thank you so much for joining us, man. Absolutely my pleasure. As you know, it is always my pleasure to hang out with you guys. So thanks for thanks for asking me. You know, once you get into it and you realize how this works, it's not as scary as you think. Uh, just, yeah. No, this is... It's uh, intense. It's intense, but it's not like, oh, no. What do I... Whatever will I do? You know, it's it, you, you, get a, you get a sense for it real quick. So... If I do well this time, I require I request that I be in a future. Oh, dude, we'll draft. you'll we'll definitely have you, man. You're you're uh, you're a good sport and you're funny. You know what? We should we should set a a roster rules that early, like early in this process, because we've gotten a little. No formal complaints have been lodged, but a few <laughs> static from players who were not who are not in this. I saw season. some of that. That's all so I'm saying. Should, so you're putting in your application right now. Oh, well, I mean, you no, know, if you'll have me, I will not give you guys static. If, if winter rolls around, and you go, eh, we're leaving Scott off. I, that doesn't bother me at all. Well, we're not, like, should we say the lowest two? Yeah, that's how out? you ought to do it. Uh, da, 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 da. Because I have the most to lose, baby. <laughs> I'm totally, <laughs> that's my move. My move is the bottom two. <laughs> Uh, that's the problem. Is we just don't have any. We just don't have any uh, uh, slots. I mean, I wish we had more slots going on. I just. I don't know if I could handle life summer without this game. You have no idea how much this game is to my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Tom. Tom didn't hang up. He's still there. Tom, are you there? Tom. Yeah. Tom. What's up? Wait. Oh, okay. I thought everyone hung up on us, and we. I was. Are, all you, are you there? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Can hear nice. you now. Hey, check that show out. Oh, wait, that show over there. No, well, now, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, right there. Those are good shows. How did you feel about your picks, Tom? Shitty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we agree that, that Sarah won again? Yes. No. No, I don't agree yet. No, we can. I, uh, you know, my problem is I don't have enough films. That's always my big problem. Like, and in the winter movie draft, it wasn't a big deal. And I think maybe because it's there are fewer, uh, fewer selections that it didn't matter as much. But I, I feel like, yeah, okay, Avengers is going to do great. But I paid more for Avengers than she paid for Dark Knight, so she wins the strategy. And I, well, I look at the, you know, what else I have is not bad, but do I have enough? I only have three other movies, two of which Paranorman and The Raven are, you know, barely going to make 100, if that. The Raven's probably going to make, like, less than 50. So, I, yeah, I just don't think I have the bulk. Um, yeah. I. It's funny. You've got movies this, I want to see, though. That's This weird. is the strongest five movies I've ever had in any draft. Say, so Justin, did you do a Squarespace billboard? Oh, no, I didn't. You only had four movies, Justin. I have five. Wrath, Brave, G.I. Oh, Joe. Brave, yeah, Spider sorry. Man. Brave and G.I. Joe ran together from where I was looking. Brave, Brave is a great pick. Yeah. You're going to be... Wrath is good for 50. I've, I've, I'm not saying I'm going to win because I don't think... To me, there were four tent poles. And there were really three and then like a sub tent pole. And that was Hunger Games, Dark Knight, Avengers, and then in the beep, like lower, the slightly, the step below bracket was Spider Man. And so my goal was to get one of the tent poles and then surround it with as many franchises as I could. And so that's, I, I, I did that, but with the lowest possible tent pole. I was hoping Sarah would have gotten in on one of the earlier movies before Dark Knight because I would have snapped up Dark Knight. At the point I had Wrath. Brave G.I. Joe. If I would have gotten Dark Knight on top of that, it's over. No, Sarah Sarah played her game perfect, which is she picked up a movie before the Dark Knight that was super cheap, Rock of Ages. No risk, no money spent. She still had more money than everybody else. That was her game going to the Dark Knight Rises. The risky thing about her strategy was, does she have enough? 
But I think with The Dark Knight Rises, she probably does. Makes I don't know. The it. campaign in The Expendables 2, Rock of Ages, that's not going to support her. If, if The Avengers or Hunger Games does close to The Dark Knight, then she's in danger. Yeah, dude, Avengers is like, but that's a big. I think Avengers is a bigger deal than we're all thinking. Uh, no, I, I guarantee you, the 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 win of the night. What, what did you get for? Uh, you only paid. Did you pay fifty for uh, for Hunger Games? Sixty. No, sixty. Sixty. 60? 60. Uh, I mean, still yeah. worth it, dude. That's that's a, that's the next uh, vampire trilogy. I mean, that's it's going to be so big, huge. But yeah, look at the vampire trilogy. Void, I mean, the, you're talking about aggressively. Hunger Games is a three hundred million dollar movie. If you look at where it's tracking and what what Twilight did, Twilight hasn't topped over three hundred. So it's not like Dark Knight, where you're looking at like five hundred and thirty three. Right. Yeah, I know. If, that Prome- fans- if Prometheus does really well, Veronica has a shot of wiping the floor. You know, possibly because she also has Cabin in the Woods which could do better and Sparkle which could do better but it's all they're all ifs they could all also crash and she might do really bad I, I think actually born like a seal do well everything she has on her list will be successful it, it, with maybe the one exception of being Sparkle I think no one's going to care but the rest I of those disagree. are all movies that will do really well and probably be option for sequels and and well one of them already is one but Actually, um, Scott, I think I you're the best position. You're in, you're in the safest. You have the fewest questions. Hunger Games is going to do great. Three Stooges is going to do well because it's comedy, oh, family friendly. It's PG. Gonna Snow White and the Huntsman is going to do well. I mean, that's my boy's week, but it, it actually should do all right. What well, Ellie Brothers Grosses are first not time I even heard of it. Since something about Mary. I mean, Hunger Games, basically, Brian and Veronica both have the most, both need a hit where, I mean, Veronica more than Brian. Need a yeah. hit I, you know, Brian, you've got Battleship and Madagascar and Men in Black. I mean, those are all underrated. Those are all going to do big, big, big I, dollars. I, literally, I bet against humanity. I bet that we have no soul and we have no ability to differentiate <laughs> between absolute crap and, and real talent. Not a bad yeah. bet. That's <laughs> Never bet on humanity being smart. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Battleship. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know. I got re- I got real concerns about Battleship. I'm yeah, apologies. yeah, about as a movie, but as a dollar maker, it's what, gonna no, do fine. The, pro- the problem is, is that it's already a punchline, uh, and I don't know how they get around the fact that it's a, a movie based on a board game. I don't see any way. And also, have you seen the trailer in the theater? Star, the no, pop in movie history. It changes your mind. All those people who would go see this kind of movie and but but might not because it sounds like a joke are going to see this trailer and they're going to go. That's what Battleship. That looks like Transformers. That looks freaking great. I'm totally gonna go see that. Yeah. Oh, that's the humanity. You bet and they against. all talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think there there is the fact that Taylor Kitsch just was in a 200 million dollar flop. Oh, you mean Riggins? Gonna be the top liner in 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 Battlestar. I mean, it's. I'm just saying there's questions. I think it's actually going to draw more than people are giving it credit for. But I think I'm saying are- it's going to hit close to 100 million. I, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be 300 million or anything like that. But that's pretty yeah. good. Uh, people are already tweeting out their picks. Bill Meek says he picks uh, the Stooges, Dark Shadows, Madagascar. Prometheus, that's my boy, G.I. Joe and Ice Age. And I think that's a good strategy to take is to take a lot of the um a lot of the chances because uh outside of outside of uh, uh Sarah Lane uh, has what did you win with the move the winter draft, Tom? Do you remember what you had? I had Twilight and the Alvin and the Chipmunks sequel. Okay, so so no, that that's and it. Tintin. Right. That's it. Okay. So- you you had two question marks and a base hit. Like nobody's won with just base hits except for Sarah last year, but that was when for whatever. Well, I reason- didn't have a base hit. I had a freaking home run. I had a grand slam home run, and then like two weak oh. bunts to the pitcher. Actually, what Alvin was wasn't. Pitcher? Alvin Alvin did well. Squeakle had a week. That's a Squeakle was was made a made a crap ton of money. It, it, Squeakle it, it, was uh, a base hit. It was and, a double. And, uh, and Tintin took a dump, but but it was Squeakle jumping ahead that that and won Twilight. it. Twilight, yeah, Twilight, yeah. right. Well, I know. Yeah, but, but, no, Twilight won it for me, but Alvin pushed me over the end, end zone. I needed, I needed those, something those, else because I, again, I didn't have bulk. I didn't have a base of other movies. So Alvin doing well is what pushed me over the over the line. But yeah, I wouldn't have won without I'm Twilight. Is, what I'm saying is, was with the exception of Sarah, everyone who's won has won with a surprise, with something that nobody thought was going to make a lot of money. I didn't win with, with a surprise. Yeah, you don't. You won with, with freaking Twilight. 
No, you didn't. You got the bulk of your points from Twilight, and you needed Alvin to push you over the edge. Yeah, but and Alvin he, wasn't a surprise at all. Alvin was a total known. To, to you, but but nobody else bid on it that way. It uh, uh, it did much better than I thought it was going to, and uh, and then I thought it beat projections. I don't know. It's the biggest yeah, piece of poo I, ever, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it just, you know, not talking about money or what it's worth or how well you did in the draft. That movie freaking sucks. I had to watch it. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell terrible. you what. You know what the, the big X factor is in all the tent poles <laughs> is that they might all be good. Hunger Games right now is getting a hundred percent or close to hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that's it's reviewing like, really. It might well. be really really good. Uh, you know the Nolan Batman. There's it would be surprising if it wasn't really really good. Everything we've heard out of Avengers is really really good. The only question mark is Spider Man, and Mark Webb's a competent director. Andrew Garfield's a a, a good choice for Spider Man. So, you know, so I think yeah, you know, if she gets a base hit into the net from the three point line, she's over the end zone and wins. <laughs> <laughs> would any of us? Would any of us have chosen Twenty One Jump Street if that was on this list? No, no way. But it and that would have won it for us. Yeah. Yeah, what a one. So it just comes goes to show this is the science of this is not science. It's hard. I feel like Wrath of the Titans is this year's Fast Five. Really? You think so? Oh, it was the not. same after, after the you same took a dump all over it. Came- <laughs> Early so Justin, just Justin nothing. spent five full minutes crapping on it and then bought it. And now it's the best thing ever. You know, I because I thought Fast Five would do fine. I, I was like, look, you know, people love that franchise. That's why they're making five. This is not a beloved franchise. Clash of the Titans was not something. It just did well enough that they know it'll make its money back. But I don't know. I don't know. That's million. And it has. And there's nothing else that. uh there's nothing else in that genre for a month and a half. I, I will make this bet, Justin. Um, I'll give you even money that The Hunger Games beats Wrath again oh. on the second weekend, on its second weekend. So, yeah, that's what I think. so on opening weekend, uh, Wrath comes in second. I wouldn't take that bet in Wrath's favor. I mean, current projections for Wrath of the Titans is to open at 42 million and finish with 110. Take that. It's not terrible. And Hunger Games is going to open with 115 million and finish with 270. Yeah, you're looking at a $300, a 300 million, in my calculations, was an aggressive projection for Hunger Games. In other words, Wrath of the Titan and Dark Shadows are estimated to make about the same amount of money. Yeah, I, th- I actually think hardly anybody knows what Dark Shadows is in terms of its source. I think a lot of people are going to get all Depp excited and go see it. I think that's going to We be didn't it. have Titanic 3D. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, I'll tell you what. I would I would have bid on that. Can we bid on like re-release of like the Star Wars prequels and all that crap? Isn't clones coming out this summer or something? Yeah, all those 3D versions are coming out. That's true. We didn't put any of those in. But you know what? I didn't want to. I think we don't count those, I gave right? I gave Dan some suggestions to, to switch stuff up. And I didn't even think about that. Hunger Games wasn't going to be in this until today. Uh, dude, night. I'm glad I'm glad it is because it's, it's going to be huge. It's going to be gigantic. Well, I think I that's why we didn't have American Reunion in, uh, Justin. I think when Dan first put the spreadsheet together, it was either wasn't had didn't have a release date yet, or it was April 6 was too early, and then we ext- you know we moved it back. I can't remember. Uh, so how do you feel, Brian? Uh, oh, about my chances. Uh, not not very good. You have one, two, three, I have seven four, movies. five, six, seven. See, you've got seven seven solid movies. Talk about base no. hits. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, the, Madagascar and Men in Black, Battleship, all are going to make close to $100 million, if not over. Lockout is not so, going to make it. Seeking a Friend for the End of the World will, will make Dark exactly. Shadow is going to make 50 Actually, it's going to make $100. you have got $400 I, million right there in the middle, plus three other movies. Four hundred million is last place in every time we played the game. If you look well, at the past. like think of it this way, I have four movies 
if you count Dark Shadows, Battleship, Men in Black, and Madagascar as one movie that makes four hundred million dollars, you still have four more. You still have five movies when I only have four. Yeah. Um, to I, me, I'm Dark Shadows optimistic. looks most like Big Fish, and that made sixty six million. Uh, yeah, it kind of does, but that's his best movie. That's look, uh, and then like Black a, is not going to bomb. Oh, telling oh, you, people, Bad and Scissor Hands for Burton movies. In in all of the the past, I mean, here's what it boils down to: all the past winners have made over eight hundred million dollars, and I certainly don't have a shot at that. I think if I'm lucky, I will not be in. Uh, I will not be in second or last place. But Men in uh, Black's going to make two hundred million dollars, and I'm guaranteeing. Yeah, I, I'll be happy if I hit third. Men in Black. The first one made two hundred and fifty million. The second one made one hundred ninety million, and that was like ten years ago. Yeah, when and the second fun. one was considered a bunch of crap. Now they've put some space behind it. I think I think Men in Black Three can match that and, and maybe surpass it. You think it can do a buck ninety? I think you're looking. At I think Sound it can do two hundred. Um, um, I, I will I will say this, and real, real quick, I know Jamber B. I got to do the billboard. Um, Madagascar to me. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I think you're looking at similar grosses for Men in Black and Madagascar, because both of the both of the most recent sequels were uh, 180 and 190 respectively for Men in Black and Madagascar. And I think Battleship will make close to 200. So there's 600 million right there. Here's what I was banking and on. You have with five other, and you have four other movies. To me, Brave was where my thing turned. If you look at Pixar non sequels. You have uh, up Ratatouille Wally, right? Ratatouille was considered not a hit by Pixar standards, and that grossed two hundred and six million dollars. Up had two hundred ninety three million. Wally had two hundred twenty three million. So, if, like, if you look at the bottom end of Pixar non sequels, and also here's the X factor: this is the first Pixar movie ever with a female lead. So, is that a plus or a minus? I think it's. I mean, I I liked it enough to. Buy it. I think it's. I wanted it's, Braver Ice Age. I'll be honest, and uh, I, I would have been stuck not having enough to bid on anything else the rest of the the night. So I got outbid, and I'm I'm upset about that because I got stuck with Paranorman as my kids' movie, which is going to be okay, but it's not going to be near Brave and Ice Age. Yeah, Ice Age. Again, uh, in sequential order, 106, 176 million, 195 million, and 196 million, like clockwork. Orange. <laughs> Whoa, awesome. you have blown my mind. And then here's, I'll tell you, here's what really juiced me on Spider-Man. You know how much these goddamn movies made? Spider-Man 1, 403 million. Spider-Man 2, yeah. 373 million. Spider-Man 3, 336 million. If it really takes a dump, it's at 250. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that's, I agree. I, I think that's the, uh, I think that's the best buy. What did you get that for? 25 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's your best buy for sure. That's going to be for huge. sure. I had to get for one sure. of the four. And I for knew sure. as soon as Sarah still had money that she was going to go for the Dark Knight, I, I couldn't leave without Spider-Man. You got it for a discount. Because uh, uh, everybody was... All right, hey, uh, Justin, can, can you do the billboards real no, quick? Boy, I, I, go. I got to go. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to create a high-quality website or blog. For a free trial and 30% off your new account for three months, go to squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW3. Awesome. All right. Well, here, uh, if you guys want to hang around, I'll, I'll leave it on, but I got—I actually have to go for my run while I still can. So uh, so I got to head on out. I got a bolt anyway. I got a show to prep for tomorrow. So thank you, guys. It was a blast. I had a total ball Dude, tonight. Dude, Scott, you're Don't the best. Shut it down. It'll be fun to see. I love yeah, you guys. I can't wait. All right. Bye, All guys. Right. Bye. All right. See ya.
It's time to go and I'm so depressed And I'm gonna spend the rest of the week in bed Until the next NSFW The show is through and it breaks my heart Cause I just can't bear to be apart from Brian and Justin of NSFW Oh, I'd rather die in a fire Then you spend a single moment without Brian Brushwood Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed I am ready to go Then do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while Oh, NSFW I love you Set. <laughs>